much are you gonna charge for that set of nails? Today we have an interesting situation, one that you actually might be familiar with on a day-to-day -day basis. Your client walks in the door, she shows you this incredible, gorgeous set of nails, but she's in a rush. She's gotta get out the door. She doesn't have time today. She's got many things on her schedule. She needs to get in and out, but she wants that set. What is the fastest way to accomplish this set. How are you gonna do it? What recommendations are you gonna bring to your client? I like these types of situations because they're real. This is something that does happen in the salon. You gotta know how to approach it. Now, I wish I could tell you exactly how to approach the situation. I'm good at rushing, I'm good at moving, but not in the salon because I don't have that experience. But thank God, I know somebody that does have that experience in her name is Tracy Ryerson. Tracy, Tracy, I have questions. I hope I have answers. I think you have answers. <laughs> I hope you have answers too. How are we gonna approach this? Well, uh, they gotta get out the door. Gel polish, simple, 30 minutes. Let's get them out the door. 30 minutes. 30 minutes? This is real, 30 minutes. This is what you did in the salon. Yes, but I'll, I will say that it used to take me a lot longer because I overthought things. I would take product down that didn't need to be taken down. Um, so we're gonna walk you through that and show you uh, the mistakes that I made and how I corrected them. Perfect, you ready? No. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over the products we're gonna use first. I have gel on, so we're gonna fill with gel. We're gonna need our base gel, our build gel. For our glitter press and our gel polish, we're gonna be using um, Hello You Fine Thing, our Go Time gel polish. And my client's in luck. I happen to have a glitter mix sitting on my shelf. I believe this is lavender and diamond dust. So this will save her money since it's on my shelf. Okay, let's get started with the demo. So I wanna explain a few things to you about just a basic fill. When a customer comes in in two or three weeks, there's not much growth going on. We're just going to be paying attention to the very back end. Structurally, the nail is good, it's sound. You can see we have the strength in the arch where we need it. It's thin at the tip where we want it. It's still thin in the back. There is very little work to do. Even if they're growing out a little bit more than I am, there's still very little work to do. So let me show you how I prep this. Okay, so the first thing we're always gonna start with is pushing back the um, cuticle area. Now this is where a lot of people spend a lot of time that can get wasted. I used to kind of push, 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 push. I don't know what I was continuing to push and I go to the next one and then I might even come back again, but it's very quick. We're gonna push, 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 all the way through. This is important. You wanna make sure that you push back, otherwise your client will do it themselves when they get home and then it'll look like they need a fill again. Okay, so that's very quick. Do that to all 10 fingers. Now we're ready to prep. Okay, so if you haven't watched one of my videos, you don't know I love this cross cut bit. It's a medium. I love it for fills, especially it really just tucks into that cuticle area. So I'm gonna turn my electric file on low. Okay, so we're gonna prep. We're gonna come in the back area. We're gonna make sure that's nice and clean. That's the first place I go because it's the most important. If you leave stuff back there, you're gonna get lifting. So we come through and then I'm gonna follow through and remove the shine from the surface of the nail. Now, it's not that important that I get all the way up because I'm just gonna be filling the back area. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one. Clean that back area up all the way through. You can see the stuff come out. 
actually love the feeling of this. I'm gonna remove the shine. Next now, in the back, all the way through, remove the shine. Next now, clean the back, remove the shine. Next now. Now, I don't have any lifting, so I don't have to take care of that. If you do have lifting problems, we have some great videos on it, and maybe we'll do a different video on that. But if you're prepping correctly, if you prep correctly, you shouldn't really have any lifting issues, but rarely. All through, remove the shine. Now that's it. Now, let me explain where I used to go wrong. So what I used to do is I would come through and clean up and then I would sit here and remove a ton of product, just whittling all of this down. And the reason I used to do that is because before using our product, I used a product that would yellow out. So I would have to remove all of that to make it look good again. And then what I would do if I felt like I was going too fast, I'd come back in with a hand file and remove even more, just, just killing my time. So there is no need for that. We have a product that is color consistent. It's gonna stay a nice color. We don't get the peach or the yellow. So again, just prep the back, remove the shine, prep the back, remove the shine all the way through. Really, your prep work here should take you less than five minutes. Let's grab our swipe. Dust the nails off real quick. Pop some swipe in my clean brush. We're going to swipe down the nail. This is gonna pull all the dust off, all the oils off, remove everything from the nail grooves, get it nice and clean. Okay, next step is our protein bond. Let's grab that. Get our first coat on all 10 nails. Again, we're just gonna go through where that natural nail is exposed. There's no need to pull it all the way through. If you do, it's no big deal. If I pull it all the way through, it's just kind of a waste of product. We only need it where that natural nail is exposed. Okay, right here, get that. Okay, after you got it on all 10 fingers, we're gonna go ahead and come back in for our second coat. Remember, I always say, we do one for most people, two for heavy lifters. I don't wanna figure out that they're a heavy lifter. Let's just get two coats on. Not that much product. Okay. We're ready for our next step. Let's grab our base, our brush. We're gonna grab just a little bit. We don't need a ton. Okay, so we're just gonna get that in that back area, push it in. I'm really just grabbing enough to get a little bit back there and I just kind of slightly pull it through the rest of the nail. Grab some more. Push it back there, make sure we're getting it in that cuticle, natural where that natural nail is so we don't get any lifting. Base is important. I know some people ask if they can skip it once they do the full set. Please do not skip base. Push it in, just pull it out real quick. A little bit back on our brush. Remember with base, we're just doing that nice thin layer. We're just doing that nice thin layer. We're not floating it. Okay, get it back in that back area. I'm just kind of wiggling it back there, pressing it into that natural nail. Pull it through. I accidentally hit one of these, so I'm just gonna run through it real quick. And let's get it in the light for 30 seconds. Okay, pull it out. I'm gonna grab our build. Now here, I, I don't have much growth. So a secret is sometimes I even skip the build part and I just use base. But if you have a little more growth than I do, we can go ahead and go in with a very little amount of build. And we're just gonna flow a little bit in that back area and just lightly pull it through. Same thing, grab a little bit, go in that back area, flow it a little bit back there. Through. Float it in that back area. 
pull it through. Now, if you notice, I'm not stressing about, am I getting it even? Is there bumps? Is there lumps? It files very quickly. So a little bit of product, load it in that back area, pull it through. Last nail. This one, I need a little more product. That's okay. You can see, we just wanna flood it in the back, pull it quickly through the rest of the nail. Done. Let's get it in the light for one minute. Cure it out for one minute. Remember, we're always working on the other hand while this hand is curing. Grab our swipe and remove that sticky layer. If you look, there's not going to be much filing that we have to do to this nail. Filing's really gonna take me about five minutes to do all 10 fingers. So let's go ahead and file these out and we'll get back with doing our gel polish and glitter press. Okay, we've filed, we've shaped, we've taken it down to what I call a raw nail. It's ready for our gel polish application. We're gonna get our protein bond. Gonna put that on top of everything. This way we know we're not gonna get any lifting. I always kind of put it in the back too, just in case I file too much back there. And there's a little natural nail exposed. I know that the gel polish is gonna stick really well because I have protein bond back there. All the way through. Once we have that on, we're gonna grab our Go Time Hello You Fine Thing. Get that on. Okay, I'm just gonna polish these two out for you and then I'll do the rest off screen so I don't bore you to death. Okay, I'm gonna get that on. Now, I'm gonna show you what I do because this nail we're actually gonna glitter press. And if you've worked with Go time before you know it doesn't have a dispersion layer. Okay, let's go to the next. So let's get this on this one. Got a little bit in my cuticle on this one, so I'm just gonna take my gel brush and clean it up. I like using gel brushes that have a little gel on it when I'm cleaning gel because it really grabs it really well and helps clean. Okay, I'll do a little bit more where I can actually see it in a second and then I'll get it in the light. Okay, we're gonna get it in light for one minute. We're gonna do a second coat of color on this one, but this one, because there's no sticky surface, we have nothing to do our glitter press in. So we're gonna pull out our YN stain resistant top coat. We're gonna put a nice layer of that down. Making sure we hit everything, that way we have a sticky layer all the way through. Okay, grab our Hello, you fine thing, and do our second coat on this now. What I love about a go time, even though it doesn't have a sticky surface, it will grab a second coat perfectly with no chipping. Okay, let's get in the light for one minute. Grab our glitter mix. And we're gonna do our glitter press. We're gonna take our cheap makeup brush, grab our glitter from the pot to the nail, all the way through. Clean it out. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my brush off on my jeans as normal, and then brush through. Nice. Okay, let's put this away and top coat it. Grab our stain resistant again and give it a nice top coat. 
No need to top coat the other nails because they stay that shiny by itself. If you so desire to top coat it, you can do that too. Okay, let's get this in the light for one minute. I'm gonna grab our swipe again. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the set and we'll show you the final look. All right, we've got our fill done. This is a beautiful set of nails. The question that I have, Tracy, is how much? Same question every time. <laughs> 65. 65 dollars. Yep. Wow, that's um, very, very, very affordable considering the last few sets we've done have been um, in the uh, low hundreds, yes. right? <laughs> yeah. So um, how long does it take? Why are you charging that much? I think I know all the answers. Let's just repeat it and give everybody the answers. Okay, so Phil is $60. One glitter, because she found a glitter on my wall that worked for the set, so that's an extra five, so 65. And uh, basically, it's gonna take me about 30 minutes or less to do. Now remember, it used to take me a lot longer. It used to take me about an hour to do a fill, but I was doing a lot of unnecessary work. I was taking a lot of product down. I was overthinking it. I was doing steps twice. If you don't overthink it, and when you're done with something, walk away from it. It should only take you about five minutes to prep all the nails. Prep for me is pushing back the cuticles, uh, removing the shine, swiping it clean, and protein bonding twice. Five minutes for that. Application is about five minutes. Uh, filing is about five minutes, so 15 minutes for your fill. And then you have 15 minutes to do your gel polish. Okay, that's it. 65 bucks for this beautiful set of nails. Your client's in a rush. This is the absolute best way to get your clients out the door if they're in a rush. A basic fill will get them out the door in 30 minutes and with a beautiful set of nails. Tracy, thank you for the set. Thank you for all the guidance on how to save time. We're gonna see you next week on How Much.